Hello everyone, this is Scott from DeluxeVision.com. Today I'm here to teach you all something about Google Chrome. If you've noticed, Google Chrome is opened a bunch of times in here. And I will tell you, I have two different windows of it running. So why does it run so many processes? It's actually a very simple solution and a very simple idea. In Chrome, every tab and every extension is treated as its own process. And the reason for this is, is it makes it actually better for user experience. Some people say that it's a memory hog for doing that, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. By having each process running as its own instance, this prevents the entire browser or the entire all the tabs from crashing. It allows things like Shockwave or Flash Player that stop working or WebGL, which will stop working. If it breaks, instead of your whole browser freezing up on you, what it does is it just cancels that tab. It also allows you to have the task manager to close certain things, certain extensions or tabs, instead of having to just freeze the entire browser, which kind of gives it as the misconception that it's really slow or a memory hog. And I will admit, Chrome is a memory hog. If we compare it with Microsoft's browser, Let's just see, I opened up one tab, if we f fire up uh, IE, Internet Explorer, it's using 63 megs. Chrome over here, that's about what it's using on average for certain tabs. More memory intensive tabs, of course, are going to use more memory. And that's all dependent on the website that you're using. Websites that use a lot of flashy advertisements or animations will, of course, use more memory. But that's besides the point. The main point here is that... The reason that Google does this is it's not is because it's the smarter way to handle things. Now it may not look good in the task manager because it's a bunch of different processes for a running running one browser, but it was done so your browser doesn't screw up if one thing crashes. That's clearly the only reason you would need for that kind of thing to run. By treating it, it's basically think of it as each tab is its own browser. It's probably not the it's not the most technical way to look at it, but think of it as that. It's basically having each one of these as its own little Internet Explorer. So what happens in Internet Explorer is if you have a web page or an extension such as Java that crashes, the entire browser is going to freeze up on you. And the only way to really fix that is to try to wait for it to resolve itself, which it rarely does. Or, you have to close it and reopen everything. Now, if you're lucky enough to get it to unfreeze, then congratulations, you have won. But, in the most likely event that you didn't get it to work, you're going to... You're going to have to restart the browser with the task manager, and that just becomes a long and painful process. So, even though it may look bad because Chrome is opening a lot of processes, you can think of it actually as the smarter way to handle it. It's still not the lightest on memory usage, but it's not extremely heavy. Just certain things are having to be copied for user experience. Which some could agree with, some could disagree, but there's just a lot of stuff in Chrome. People run a lot of extensions. Running 30 plus extensions in Google Chrome is not smart. That's going to give you 30 processes running at all times. You do not want that. Now having 30 extensions installed and only using them selectively, like having dev tools or downloading YouTube videos at certain times, that's fine. But you must be careful because Chrome eats up memory. Chrome can eat up your memory very quickly. Now, it's probably not something that's really eating up my system memory, but it does its job. Chrome is definitely the smartest browser. It's probably the fast. It's definitely the fastest, in my opinion. It performs exceptional. It does everything it needed to do. And its developer tools are so much better than the ones in Internet Explorer that I re I'm, I don't even like looking at Internet Explorer. But, 
it will be interesting to see how people react. A lot of people think that Chrome is running all these processes, that there's something wrong with it, when it's just the browser's just doing its job. If you notice, a lot of these tabs are not even using a large amount of RAM. You can pretty much tell which ones are tabs and which ones are extensions. 10 megs, 19, 18, 8. You could probably assume that these are all just extensions running. The bigger pages are clearly going to be like a YouTube video. And the best thing is, if only one tab is frozen, you can close it from the task manager or use the built-in one to Chrome. You can tell a lot from diff from these different processes. Frankly, I don't know why I'm not. I don't know why I have so many tabs open, but it's a good example. Chrome handles things in a different way, and it's proven to work. If things freeze up, they will not freeze the entire browser. The only time the whole browser is frozen if there's an error with the application or Windows itself. In which case, it wouldn't matter how many tabs you have open, there's just something wrong. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns regarding it, please put them below and I'll make sure to help you out. Thank you very much for watching.